What's up, YouTube? It's Artisan MC, and today I'm going to react to the Foundation trailer for Apple TV. Now, special shout out goes to the master teacher BGS for this one because he put this one in my view and told me how long he was waiting for this, and I had never heard of this story, and I almost feel ashamed to say that as a sci-fi geek. I almost feel ashamed to say this. Now, because I didn't know about it, doesn't mean that I'm not going to get well versed on it now. Because I'm a firm believer in things find you in the time that they're supposed to find you. Um, this book was written by Isaac Asimov and was published back in 1941 42, I believe it was. So, a bit before my time. But because it has been rumored to be kind of, pardon the pun, the foundation of a lot of other sci-fi uh, genres and stories that I do like, namely Star Wars and Dune, that it's something I should go back and read to see where those links come from. So, as it stands now, the trailer has come out. And... It's going to be a series, I believe, that's produced on Apple TV. Now, that seems all well and good. If you see the trailer on YouTube, I'll put the link um, in this video somewhere. It should be popping up below right about now. So, you can see the trailer. And from the trailer, I want to see this freaking movie. I want to see it. It looks awesome. The scope looks grand. The sets look big and detailed. It looked like they actually put some work in. And it looks futuristic in the sense that it's not stuff that I've seen before, per se. Okay. I will say that. There's a caveat to that. Now, as beautiful as all this stuff looks, and as much as I've complained about sci-fi recently has gone the way of just showing dystopic futures and nobody is looking ahead to anything i can't get a view of what it's supposed to look like you know a thousand years or so in the future this is something that comes from the past that does give you a view of the future far flung and i'm all for that mentally i'm for it. intellectually i'm for it visually i am for it now here's the part where it breaks down a little bit. There's two parts on this trailer that that kind of rub me. Okay. And one leads into the other pretty heavy. So the first one I'll say is this. Visually. Visually, some of the scenes I saw look like I've seen them in other movies. So seeing the representation of a big black hole right off the bat reminds me of interstellar now if you saw my intro trailers from with my uh, pmdms you'll see that i use that black hole you know imagery in my intro because i like it it, it stuck out it's, it's something really striking all right well i'm seeing this in the trailer for the foundation now what i'm also seeing in this is some other scene and some other locales that look like they were taken right out of the interstellar movie as well so in one scene you have a woman i don't know who this character is because like i said i haven't read the story so i don't know who the characters are but you see her coming out of what it seems like a tent or something like that in this rocky uh, landscape and my first thought when i saw it was the end of interstellar matt damon's planet like okay <laughs> not a big deal but okay but the next scene i see is another character i assume it's another main character and she's getting out of this boat on this vast you know what seems like ocean or whatever and the ship coming to land on this water and once again i'm reminded of interstellar when they're on the first planet that they go to that's the big water planet with the big waves and this vast stretch of water that is actually really shallow. 
And I remember that so clearly because when I saw that the interstellar, it, it's really jarring to me. It's really creepy to me to see a vast, almost ocean like that and for it to be shallow as far as I can see. Because that's like something like you can't trust it. You can't trust it. It, it has to be a hole somewhere. But because I'm such a movie buff like that, I own the Interstellar movie. I've seen those bonus features to find out where that place was. It looks like the person who was doing this foundation show went back to those same locales. And this is, gets into my second point. If they know these locales and they're using them again in this show, why? Why copy something that's already been seen again? This gets into the part that I do have a little bit of a rub with. And it's the screenwriter and executive producer of this, which is David S. Gordon. <sighs> David S. Goyer is complicated to me. And I've said this many a times. He's good when he's working with somebody like a Christopher Nolan or Jonathan Nolan who he would have worked with when they did Interstellar because I think he has writing credits on that movie but by himself you get Blade 3 because he will do some kooky shit that has no point in the movie at all that's what concerns me I'm expecting him to pull a Blade 3 a the Crow 3 or Crow City of Angels, some bullshit. Now, to his credit, where I like David Goyer is that he is a geek. Okay? He is a geek that got into Hollywood. And so he's probably read this book. He knows some of this material, right? But where he fails at is he always injects some of himself into it, and that's always where you get some some kind of perversion or something like that. It's not exactly clear, it's just some shit that doesn't fit, it's usually him. And that's where a lot of plot holes end up being created in his storytelling. A lot of big plot holes, okay? So if you think of any geek movie by Warner Brothers or whatever that had, had you grown in a little bit, go back, look at those credits, and see who the screenwriters, were and you probably find David S. Goyer's name on that shit. So at that rate he's successful, but in another sense he can fuck things up. Okay. So I prefer him to have a CNI dog. Or to act in in that manner that he is a CNI dog. But he works with somebody. He is not allowed to go solo. Anyway. But he's doing this show. We'll see what happens. I don't know the story, I have to find the books so I can try to read up on this show and find out about these characters and this world and all this stuff before it comes out next year. So, as I was fond of telling BGS, they shouldn't have never taught you Negroes to read because now I have a shitload of backlog novels I have to actually power through and try to get through and it's going to cramp into my actual watching movies or series and doing reviews on them but it is what it is this is this is the life i chose so foundation apple tv 2021 check out the trailer on youtube see if you are as hyped for this as i am if you've actually read these stories leave a comment down below and tell me what you like about the story because from what I heard from the master teacher is some political stuff, is some futurist stuff, and I'm all in for, for that. So I'm already there for that, but I'm looking to hear some other, you know, opinions on it. And this is a rare thing because I don't usually ask. But, so, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.